Hey everybody, welcome to another Foosh video review. This is Cannonball back after a bit of a hiatus and I'm really excited to be back sharing some new Transformers figures with you. And today we are going to be looking at Quickslinger from the Combiner Wars series from Hasbro. Now, Quickslinger, the, the second I saw him, I was like, wait, Quickslinger, what's, what's with the name? Because this is clearly Slingshot from the old G1 Aerialbot Superion days. So he is part of the Aerialbot combiner team, and they do combine to form Superion. That shouldn't be new news to any of you out there. But um, I am curious about the name change. This isn't something I really keep up with Hasbro. So when I first saw the name listed, I just thought it was a new character of some sort. But this is definitely the guy I know as Slingshot. And when I look on the back here in his bio, it seems like there's a, there's a hint as to who he used to be. So the bio reads, if everything Quickslinger said about his feats in battle were true, he'd be the most decorated Autobot warrior. While he's not actually a battlefield legend, he is the best shooter among the aerial bots. Once an enemy is in his sight, there's a good shot they'll end up in a sling. So, yeah, I think that's Hasbro's little tip of the hat to slingshot as he used to be called. So in a second here, I'm going to get this guy open, and we are going to take a look at what quick slinger has to offer us hang tight let's get started with quick slinger in his jet mode and it's not a bad jet mode at all for a deluxe class figure. I mean, kind of like the, the original G1 aerial, aerial bots, like he looks cool from like the top side view and slightly from the side, but you flip him over and, and you see a whole bunch of robot stuff. So at least his head turns around, so it's not that obvious, but you see his arms, you see his feet, and there's clearly a, just a bunch of robot kibble underneath the plane. But that is true to how the G1 aerial bots were, so at least this is in keeping with that. So, you know, you know tradition and all. When we take a look at them, there's a lot of really cool sculpted detail here. Uh, there's a lot of just <laughs> I don't know what to say besides lines. Uh, I don't have an industrial design degree, so I'm, I'm not sure what the preferred nomenclature is. But there's a lot of detail sculpted into this guy. And the paint, although it is sparse, is really effective. I love that orange cockpit. I mean, sure, it's not clear and see-through, and you can't see a little pilot in there, but the color just pops, and the red and the blue on the wings with the Autobot sigils looks cool. Even the underside with the gold and the red and the blacks, it's, it all looks pretty good and clean. So I am a big fan of how he looks here. And he's got these little peg holes on the underside of his wings where it looks like his blaster can fit. I don't know if I was short or something. Mine only comes with one blaster, so it's a little bit uneven. <laughs> so it looks kind of silly. But maybe I can uh, scrounge another one up somewhere. And he's got a little piece of landing gear that can fold up, so we get, like, you know, authentic flight mode. Whee! I'm Quick Slinger. Flying through the air. Now, to get this guy transformed to his robot mode, it's not that complicated a process at all. I actually did it the first time through without even looking at the instructions, and I couldn't tell you the last time I was able to do that, because usually I have a terrible time. But the first thing I do is I flip the nose cone up and back like that. And then we flip his head around and so I mean we almost got the robot formed just in those simple couple steps so those wings can fold back like that and then his legs kind of open up a little bit like this and then you can once they're free from the back wait this was easier a second ago but we can free his arms in the meantime we just flip them out fold them up nice and simple and then that flips out, his legs just extend, and then they close again. There's a tab here where they can lock into place on both sides. Then they split, and you can fold that wing up. And that's basically him in his robot mode. And honestly, he is not too shabby at all. Again, I'm a big fan of the colors. The red and the nice crisp white and the orange and the blue on his head is just awesome. Let's see if we can get a, some kind of close-up of his face. 
yeah, I'm definitely a big fan of how he turned out. And he's, like, in terms of size, like, he's not a tiny deluxe. I know the deluxe figures seem to keep getting smaller and smaller, but let's uh, compare him to a previously released deluxe and see if I'm going to eat my words on that last statement or not. Okay. So here's kind of my go-to comparison figure, the Armada Starscream, or the Robots in Disguise Starscream. And he is a little bit bigger than Starscream. Just because his shoulders reach up higher, he just feels more substantial. So, I mean, looking at them right here, there's not a huge difference in size, but Quickslinger does feel more substantial than Starscream when I've got him in hand. And just like the original Aerial Bots, he just kind of looks like he's carrying around a little plane backpack or airplane for a backpack but it's not too bad and then for articulation he's decently articulated his arms get a good range of motion all the way around he's got a a bicep joint and there's a swivel so he like oh looks like he's dancing now that's kind of cool i'm going to leave him like that his head's on a ball so he can look up looking just about every direction he's got a waist swivel that works pretty well and his legs have like a good range of motion too. I'm like kind of like surprised by this. The only thing he's really missing, I mean he's missing any kind of foot or ankle articulation. He doesn't have any ankles to speak of. His feet are kind of permanently posed in that kind of like heroic spread stance. And then he doesn't have an ab crunch or anything like that. So he is part of a combiner team and I haven't been too on top of hunting down the other parts for Superion. Superion was never one of my favorite combiner teams. But I've got Slingshot here. Again, Slingshot is his real name. So I think Slingshot here will inspire me to maybe hunt down Silverbolt and Air Raid and the rest of the aerial bots. We'll see though. Oh yeah. And his blaster does just fit kind of nicely and neatly right in his hand like so. So now Slingshot is ready to battle on the battlefield. So real quick, uh, he can be transformed into either Superion's leg or arm. So we're going to take a look at that in just a second. So let's transform Quick Slinger here from his robot mode into his combiner form. Uh, he has two combiner forms. Again, he can be either an arm or a leg. But let's start with the arm. So all we got to do is flip his head around and push that down and that kind of reveals the combining joint right there kind of like a plug now his arms all we kind of do is fold them behind his back like this and there are a couple tabs that he can kind of hold on to with his hands let's see if i can they're kind of hard to see and they're kind of there we go got one and that would be the other. So really, that's what his arms do in this mode. And then his legs just kind of snap together. And we twist. Make sure they're snapped together all the way, because they're going to be his lower arm. So his waist joint kind of becomes the elbow. And he comes with a little combiner piece, which can be converted to either a hand or a foot. In this case, it's going to be the hand. And... That's basically it. That is Superion's... Right now it's his left arm. I suppose it could be his right, but we're looking at the left arm right now. So let's picture the other rest of the giant robot here connecting right to that joint. And there he is, shaking hands with the world. I am Quick Slinger in arm mode. Then to get him into leg mode, it's really not that much more complicated. It's pretty simple. We almost have to transform him back to, let's see here. Back to his jet mode. So the joint is going to be up like that because it's going to snap into his knee. Let's see here. Got to open up his legs again and fold those down. So, like so, let's do the other one, fold that down, snap that together, snap those back together, 
fold his arms down. Okay. And then, I mean, it's practically his jet mode. And then to convert this to a foot, we just kind of fold it down. And then we plug that in. And there, Superion's lower leg. I guess the thighs are part of Silverbolt. And I'm not sure which way it's supposed to be, either this way or this way. I guess that's up to you as the person who puts it together. I think I remember the original Superion was looking kind of like this in leg mode. But that's him in leg mode. So, quick slinger here. He's kind of a triple changer, or quadruple changer as it were. We've got the robot mode, the jet mode, arm mode, and leg mode. So I guess all the combiners are kind of quadruple changers now, except for the, the main torso piece, but all the limbs are. So Quickslinger is kind of a fun, cool figure. I like him. Uh, again, the aerial bots were never my number one cup of tea, but I like this guy enough now that I'm feeling like I need to put Superion together all the way. So thanks for checking us out here on the Foosh. If you have any questions or comments to make about Quickslinger here, go ahead and leave them below. Or on our message boards, one of the discussion forums, there is a thread that's been very active concerning all things Combiner Wars. So, so again, check us out on our message boards, leave a comment below, check us out on all the regular social media sites, and we will see you real soon with another video review. Thanks for tuning in.